I wanted to share with you this morning a couple of books that I've been making and the first one I'm going to share is from the Let's Get Artsy Graphic 45 papers. And oh boy, I love these papers. I, I didn't think I was going to. I thought they were too bright and brash. But actually, there's some really subtle ones in there as well. And they, they balance up really, really nicely. I can't, I can't get enough of them now. I think I'm, this is about the third album I've made. Um, so this is an 8x8. And I've put the Cool Cats memories on there. And then I've used, the, the again, the Cool Cats photographs there. So... I've used some of the ephemera to create a sort of three-dimensional effect. And I mean, these are chunky ephemera. I'm really, really impressed with that. Okay, so let's have a look inside. So on the first page, we have got a swivel. We've got a pocket here. Whoops, a pocket here. And then just two pockets there and there. And then just a swivel lock again. So on this page, I've got these unlocked, but these are the um, the Cool Cats pore fasteners, um, and they just they they literally just slide into each other. Uh, this top one is being a little bit temperamental at the moment, so I need to just put some um, uh, non-static uh, tumble dryer tumble dryer uh, pad over that just to, to give it a little bit more of a slip. So these just open up. And then this bottom one, when you open it up, I've also put a, um, a tuck pocket in there. I, I've used this bit across here because what, after I put it together, I thought, I don't know, it just all doesn't look quite right. So I wanted to take away from the orange a little bit. So I just pop that in there and just put that back in there. So I'll do those up again in a minute. So on this page, I wanted a... Um, photo uh, folder but when I, I just liked this part of the paper so rather than putting it in the middle I've put it at the bottom um, and because there's no um, journaling cards anymore I've just used the little um, photo corners in there to show where the photos would go. On this page I used something I saw um, Maggie had done and I just loved the way it looked when she opened it up. So I've done a couple of them in this book. But these, these papers just made this so beautiful. So this is using um, the Cool Cats waterfall die. But I've just done it so that it pushes out that way. Um, and when I saw that on Maggie's, I thought, Do you know, I've got to have a go at that. I just loved that idea. And using those papers as well, it's just stunning I love these papers so this is a page where I've used a belly band I've used a slider so I made a, a tuck slot there so that it doesn't fall straight through the belly bands and then I've done the same up here and then I've got one of my favorites the little secret door there with a little swivel and just slides back into place I've got the ever popular, I don't think I can make a memory book without using these now. Um, and this is the double slider. Um, and I just love it. And again, I've, I've used some of the, um, the frames on the top there from the tags and frames die, just to break it up a little bit. And I've used some of the other bits and pieces as well. So on this page, I've done a slider and I've done it so that it slides across that way and opens up those two little pockets and then across that way and opens up these two little pockets. So again, cool cuts dies to create those little opening doors. It's got a bit bulky, so we've gone for a couple of just very basic pocket pages um, using the um, 12 by 12 papers because they've got the journaling cards in them. So just a couple of very simple pocket pages and then another one of these. And these papers, again, as I say, 
I wasn't going to get them because it all looked a bit garish and it wasn't my style. But by putting in these, these more subtle ones as well, it just, it all works so perfectly. So I'm really, really liking these papers. Um, I hope they stay for some time. And then another one of these, I won't open it, but it's got the little pockets inside. And then at the back, another swivel pocket page. So I hope you like that and I hope it gives you some inspiration.